Javier Becerra back in his hometown of Sacramento in his latest role as President Biden's Health and Human Services Secretary. We're not going to stand for excluding people from the rights that they know they had and should have. Becerra held a roundtable discussion at the California Planned Parenthood headquarters on the future of abortion in the state. As California moves to become a reproductive health care destination, Secretary Becerra vowing the administration is prepared to find ways to help, including protecting patient privacy and potentially travel. To the degree that we can help ensure that a woman who has to leave her state that doesn't give her rights to health care has to go to a state like California, we're going to see how we can also plug in and be supportive of those efforts. Exactly what, we'll find out, but we're going to work with our partners to see what we can do. We're definitely feeling the impact. Planned Parenthood CEO Jody Hicks says the organization continues its expansion in California, already seeing an influx of patients since the Supreme Court's decision in June. It's not going to get better in the short term, um, but what we can do is make sure that we're expanding and we're preparing so that the people that unfortunately have to travel outside of the state they live in, which no one should have to do, but that we can help navigate that process and, and continue that they can get the care they need. Secretary Becerra then came to this UC Davis Patient Contact Center to have a roundtable on how the Inflation Reduction Act will help lower the cost of prescription drug prices. We'll pass along a lot of savings to many Americans who need it at this particular time. Becerra noted the newly signed the Inflation Reduction Act will help lower the cost of prescription drugs for Medicare patients over the next few years, putting caps on out-of-pocket costs for medication like insulin. It's welcome news for leaders of the University of California health system. I would say about 70 percent of our patients will be impacted directly by this act. Health leaders grateful for Becerra's visit. They told us they hope to see federal action to help with their needs to train the health care workforce of the future. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, KCRA 3 News. And Secretary Becerra also noted today that more Americans than ever have health insurance with 8 percent nationwide still without it. He says federal leaders are working uh, with states to try to close that gap.